Hua Er, literally meaning flower, is a unique style of folk song popular amongst the Han, Hui, Tibetan, Dongxiang, Bao'an, Sala, Tu, Yugu, and Mongolian ethnic groups. It is mainly found in northwestern China, including Gansu and Qinghai provinces and the Ningxia Hui autonomous regions. Hua Er gatherings are large scale get togethers or festivals based around this type of singing, which continue to take place right up to this day. Hua Er is mainly spread across the Linxia Hui Autonomous Prefecture and Gan'an Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture in Gansu Province, as well as Dingxi, Tianshui, and Lanzhou cities also in Gansu province. This area covers approximately 70,000 square kilometers and has a population of around 5.6 million people. Hua Er as a form of folk singing has a history of around 500 years. It comprises more than 100 distinct Qu Ling or tune patterns. A Ling is the pattern to which the Hua Er tune is set and more than 7,000 recorded local variations of lyrics. Hua Er songs can be heard almost anywhere at any time, whether tending crops or livestock, boating on a river, or strolling along a mountain track. In addition, there are also spontaneously organized annual Hua Er gatherings held in the picturesque mountain regions during the spring and summer which contain strong elements of both local and national culture. <laughs> Hua Er songs unambiguously reflect the singer's inner feelings, whether happy, sad, angry, or worried. Therefore, these unique folk songs allow the singers to express themselves spiritually in an uninhibited way, despite the many hardships of their material existence. There are two main sub-genres of this art form, these are He Huang Hua Er and Tao Min Hua Er. The differences lie in the characteristics of the tune and the lyrics, but both styles are widespread in different areas of Qinghai province and the Ningxia Hui autonomous region. The structure of He Huang Hua Er consists of two lines in each verse, with each song containing four lines in all. The first verse gives a description of the situation, while the second verse is dedicated to explaining why it is so. In contrast, each song in Tao Ming Hua Er could contain from three to six lines, with seven words in each line being the most common format. The lines in Hua Er songs normally have a regular rhythm, although it is not uncommon for additional words, phrases, or even lines to be added during the singing. In this way, the format is quite flexible. Hua Er can be sung by one person alone or in groups. In the latter case, regardless of age, sex, ethnic origin, or whether they are known to one another or not, the participants will sing to their heart's content and generally will not finish until everyone has had their fill. The atmosphere at a Hua Er gathering is bustling, electric and vibrant, with the sound of singing and laughter echoing around the mountains. This mood is reflected in the local people's obvious happiness and pride in their culture, and the air of 
infectious enthusiasm is one that spectators and participants alike will be unlikely to forget. Now we are at the Lianhua Mountain Hua'er Gathering, which is organized by the local community annually. It is held from the 1st to the 6th day of June, according to the lunar calendar. The singers' emotive voices and witty use of words fully reflect their talents. This is the Songming Yen Hua'er Gathering in Hezheng County Town. Informal individual singing, as well as spontaneous group singing of the beautiful Hehuang Hua'er songs, can be heard amidst a sea of people. Certainly a lifelong, unforgettable moment for anyone who experiences it. And here is the Erlang Mountain Hua'er gathering in Minxian County. Listen to the singers at times rapturous and at times heartrending performances as they express both their happiness and sadness through the medium of Hua Er songs. Originally, Hua Er music was thought of as a means of communication between human beings on earth and gods in the heavens. Likewise, the Hua Er gathering was a folk gathering related to folk beliefs in agricultural sacrifices to the gods. Gradually, however, the sacrificial element was lost and Hua Er songs and the Hua Er gathering evolved into a form of folk entertainment and celebration. Within the greater body of Hua Er songs are a large number devoted to love and romance. According to tradition, these Hua Er cannot be sung at home and especially not in front of members of the older generation or inside the villages. Today's Hua Er have been inherited through real living people such as Zhu Zhonglu, Ma Jinshan, Wang Lian Lian, Dong Ming Chao, and Wan Xiang Lian, all representatives of the Hua Er tradition. Hua Er was the principal form of entertainment for local people in these areas before the appearance of the mass media. Hua Er was approved to be added to the official list of Chinese intangible cultural heritage on the 20th of May 2006. Today, the popularity of Hua Er and the size of Hua Er gatherings are both waning due mainly to the spread of other forms of entertainment and the modern mass media. In addition is the fact that huge numbers of migrant workers are moving away from the rural centers of Hua Er singing to the cities. Paradoxically, however, the latter effect also affords an opportunity for the art form to spread outside its traditional mountain heartland and into urban China thereby extending its reach onto a wider stage. In Gansu province, up to the present, more than 100 products related to Hua Er music and its traditions, including research books, have been published. Meanwhile, more than 200 different tapes, CDs and DVDs of Hua Er music have also been recorded. Over the past 30 years, many international scholars have carried out research and field studies in the regions where Hua Er music is most popular. Dr. Zhao Rulan, professor of music at Harvard University in the United States, has visited these areas twice to carry out academic studies. She professed herself very impressed with their size, the number of people actively involved and the recent spread of the popularity of Hua Er and Hua Er gatherings. Hua Er is a unique voice from the northwestern plateau of China. Hua Er is a song of living, a song of love, and a song of life. And soon, as an integral part of Chinese folk heritage, Hua Er is destined to become part of the worldwide 
cultural wealth of all human beings, wherever they hail from. <laughs>